I know you're used to me showing you clever ways to use Apple Notes on your iPad and iPhone, but not today. Today we're going to do something new. I'm going to show you five great tips on how to use Apple Notes on your Mac. Yeah, you heard that right. Stick around. Even if you don't have a Mac but might be thinking about getting one, this video is worth a few minutes of your time. <music> Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rich. I've been cranking out iPad and iPhone tutorials for quite a while, but when the filming is over and I turn the lights off, it's over to my Mac to put the video together. In fact, I use a Mac computer every day. It's just a fantastic tool. And I use Apple Notes on the Mac every day too, so I thought I'd show you five clever ways I use Apple Notes on my Mac, or, you know, in this case, my MacBook Air. So today I'm going to show you how to add YouTube video links to a note with just one click. This is so handy. How to highlight text in Safari and create a quick note that you can then click on and go back to Safari. How to drag different files to a note because sometimes you want different file types in there. How to share a note because, you know, that's important too. And then how to scan paper docs to a note using your iPhone. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll share a few quick formatting tips too. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to show you is just how to add video links to a note. Now, if you open up Apple Notes and then you open up YouTube, you could open a video like that and you could copy the URL and just paste it over into the video note. But an easier way to do that is just open up the video that you want to link to click over in your notes and click the little link with the plus button, just like that. And you can click add link. And now you get that video that's over in YouTube here in um, your Apple note. And you can do that with multiple different types of videos. You can just open up. Here's another one. We'll open this one up. Once it's open and the URL is up here and go back to Apple notes and click on the link and add link just like that and now you've got it and you can go back in and you can actually play those videos from within Apple Notes. You can play it just like that and the sound will come up. I'm on CBS. The emphatic results just like that have taken a little bit of the luster off this thing. Remember just and that is just a handy way to keep track of little videos that you find that are important to you that you don't want to have to go back into YouTube and dig for. I use this little feature all the time to save little tips and trick notes so that I can teach you as I make these videos. But that's really handy. Hey, let me jump in here to thank my friends at MacPaul for sponsoring this video. Do you want your Mac to run smoothly without bogging down? Yeah, me too. That's why I'm a fan of Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac X is a fantastic application that keeps your Mac running smoothly. It can clean up system junk, overflowing trash bins, and more. And one of its more powerful features that we all need is malware removal. Clean My Mac X scans your entire system, isolating and removing malware that malicious websites stick on your Mac, you know, without you knowing. I use Clean My Mac X myself because I don't want to comb through my computer system trying to find stray files I'll never use again that are clogging up and slowing things down. And I'm certainly not clever enough to figure out where malware is hidden, just waiting to cause damage at the worst possible moment. Clean My Mac X just takes care of all of that for me. There are so many different features, but I just click on Smart Scan and let Clean My Mac X do the rest. Just knowing I can run it from time to time and have it look for viruses just gives me peace of mind. It's the application that just takes care of all of these things for you. Junk files, malware, and viruses can slow down even the most powerful Macs. That's why Clean My Mac X is a must. Clean My Mac X has been downloaded over 30 million times and is a trusted application for any Mac user. For a limited time, save on Clean My Mac X by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks to MacPaw and Clean My Mac X for support of this channel. All right, now back to the video tips. Okay, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to create a quick note from text in Safari. So I've opened up a Wikipedia here, and this is about James Taylor. So let's just say I wanted to highlight some text like this. And now I can right click on that and I can click add to quick note. 
just like that. And now I've got a quick note over here and it's put it in a graphically pleasing way. And I can just store that and go back over here to my quick notes. And if I close out of my browser and I'm no longer in it and I've got this quick note, I can double click on it, double click again and it takes me right back to the same page. And not only that, it highlights in yellow what I copied and put in the quick note. And that's just a great way to go back and find something that maybe part of an article that you've been reading or something like that that was important to you and you want to save some of the text to a quick note. You might not have known that you can do that with Apple Notes, but you can. It's really handy. All right, the next thing is a pretty simple thing and that's just the ability to drag files into Apple Notes. Here I've created a note called drag and drop and I've opened up my files app over here on the right side of the screen and I've got a PDF and I'm just going to drag that PDF over like that. And now I can see the PDF that I just drug over and I can scan through it like that or if I don't want it to take up that much space I can just view it as small like that and I can of course rename the attachment. You can right click on it and rename the attachment if you wanted to do that. But you can drag different kinds of files in there too. Maybe you have photos that you want to drag into. Here's one that I absolutely love. Here's Scout and I can just drag that over into the app. Just like that. And now I've got Scout just waking up from taking a nap. And you can drag a variety of different uh, files in there. You can drag audio files, video files, uh, PDFs. You can put almost anything into Apple Notes. And as you build out your note system, it's just a handy way to keep track of so many different things. And once you've put this all in here, of course, it syncs up with your iPad and your iPhone, and it just makes it very easy to use. Sometimes you need to share a note, and it's just handy to be able to do that. Maybe you've got something in Apple Notes that you want to give to someone else. Well, all you do is go to the note that you want to share, click on the little share sheet button here. It's as simple as that. And you can mail it. You can send it via messages. Um, and you can airdrop it either way. And also one thing that you can do is when you send it, you can choose either collaborate or send a copy. If you just want somebody to have a copy of your Apple Notes, you can click on send a copy. But if you want them to be able to collaborate, then you can choose collaborate and then just stick it in the mail uh, like that. It's preparing it. And here you go, you've got a note that you can email on. And if you chose collaboration, if they make changes on it, then it'll reflect back in your note as well. And you can see it, and the two of you can work on a note at the same time. Why is this handy? Well, sometimes my wife and I are planning vacation uh, trips, and we need to sort of know what's going on, and she takes care of some things, and I take care of other things, and then we use a note to keep track of that. Super, super handy. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to scan documents into a note on your Mac. Now, if you have an iPhone, you may know that you can use your iPhone to scan documents, and that's kind of handy. But if you have your iPhone with you and you're in front of your Mac and you want to scan something directly into the note on your Mac, you can use your iPhone. All right, all you do is you click on the little image here and you click on Scan Documents. And here I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to let it scan the document and I'm going to click save. And just like that, the book cover I scanned is now on the note right here. And you can scan multiple pages in at a time that way. And it's easy to do if you happen to have your iPhone handy with you. Just a hidden little trick, but something that's really cool. All right, the last thing I want to show you is just how to do a little bit of f formatting. If you've got a note like this, um, there are different ways that you can format it. I've got some text here, and if you click on the little text icon at the top, you can choose a style. Of course, you can make it bold. You can make it italic. You can make it, you know, you can underline it. 
Of course, you can undo those things by clicking back on it again. But one of the new things that's out in macOS Sonoma is the ability to do what's called monostyled. If you click on that, it puts a, a little box around your text that kind of gives it a heading. So you could actually have multiple headings like that in order to organize your note. And you could choose mono style there, and that way you've got some little headings there that are just handy. Here's a list of things that I have. They're bullet points. If you just highlight them, you could turn them into a checklist like that, and you can check those off. And they can go to the bottom when you uncheck them like that. Um, of course, you can create a dashed list. If I highlight them again and I want a dashed list, I can get that, or I can get a numbered list like we had at the beginning, uh, or again, a bulleted list. And it's just some handy little formatting features that are in Apple Notes that if you take a few minutes and you check these out, you can make your notes look a little bit better. Of course, you can put tables in notes like this, and you can put a heading one and say heading two. And if you highlight that row, you can come up there and go bold. And then you can begin entering data. One, two, and then just tab and keep adding lines to it as you put data in it, like that. That's another thing that you can do uh, in the formatting process. So there's a number of little handy tricks that are in here, and they're a little bit easier to use on your Mac than they are on your, say, your iPad, iPad and certainly easier than on your iPhone. But they're handy, and it's something that you want to think about using. You know, it's so easy to see how Apple Notes is becoming the de facto note-taking app. It handles just about anything you throw at it. It automatically syncs with your iPhone and iPad, and the folder structure lets you set things up in a way that makes sense to you. It really is a powerful app and one worth digging into on your Apple devices, especially if you have a Mac. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Don't forget to check out Clean My Mac X in the description below. If you have a Mac, it's a must-have app. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.